ho, 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 baby, do I got a video in for you guys today. Genesis Impact. Stay tuned and we'll get right to that. What is going on, elves and elfettes? I hope you guys are doing fantastic, having an amazing day. It is Christmas or pretty near Christmas. I don't know when this video is going out. I'm filming this a little bit before Christmas, but as you can see, I'm already in the spirit. If I had a green screen, it'd be snowing behind me. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are doing great. I, for one, am doing great because I'm about to be opening up some. Genesis Impact today for you guys. I'm hyped to check this set out. I've heard the collector's rares are plentiful, the profit is bountiful, and the decks inside are just A1. Like, there are some amazing. Wait, we got, we got Drytron, Magistus, Evil Twin. Yep, that other one. And then a lot of really good reprints in here, too. Like a Cyber Emergency, The Nightmares. And the collector's rares are amazing. Hopefully, I can pull one for you guys today. So, how about we quit wasting time and we just get right to it? We are back again with the illustrious Ojama mat. I don't know what you guys expect from me, but here we are. I hope you guys are ready for Gen Z Impact. Oh yeah, baby. Just TikTok memes and cancel culture. Nothing better than that. So let's go ahead. Let's crack that seal. The gates are open. Oh baby, I'm excited. I'm excited. I got a buddy. He uh, bought a case of these. Pulled five collector's rares from a case. Like those rates, those are good rates. <laughs> like I was expecting like, okay, you're probably gonna pull like two in a case. He pulled five. That's pretty near all of them. That was about half of them. Let me think, I'll probably throw them all up on the screen right now as I was getting ready, but uh, there's a lot of collector's rares. There's a lot. I want you guys to let me know down below, what's your favorite collector's rare from the set? I'd love to hear it. What's that? Start cracking, baby. First pack, first pack. I'm not going to shuffle them because I don't think there's any order to them. I've seen some other people open. It didn't look like it made any sense. Okay, what do we got? Book of the Law, Drytron Asceticism, Invoked Cockatus, Dark Mist, Bottomless Trap Hole, Drytron Gamma Eltanen, and the first hollow, Nina, Nina Ruru, the Magistus Glass Goddess. These Magistus cards look so cool, guys. They look so cool. And look at these great reprints that we got in here. Book of the Law, we got some Drytron card, not a reprint, but that's a good one. Dark Mist, Bottomless Trap Hole. Like, it's just, it's so good. It's so good, it's things that the game needed. That's what I liked about, that's what I like about Konami as of like recent. They've been real, like, on top of, like, these reprints. Okay, Magistus Theurgy, Synet Regression, Drytron Gamma Eltanen, Zeta Eldhibon, Engraver of the Mark, Drytron Meteor Shower, and Incantation Chalice Slime. What a great card to get. Love the Incantation cards. I think they're all very, very good, very fun. A nice little rarity bump doesn't hurt. Let's keep going. Baby, oh baby, what do we got? Live Twin Channel, World Legacy, World Lance, Evil Twin, GG Easy, Herald of Ultimateness, love that card. Performage Hat Tricker, Invoked Cockatus, and Trismagistus. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Jeez, Herald of Ultimateness, that's a great little pull. These Evil Twin cards are real interesting. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the archetype yet. If I'm gonna be honest, Drytrons, I love Drytrons. I was playing Drytrons before people were playing, before people heard of Drytrons. You know, I'm gonna say I'm a Drytron hipster. Magistus, uh, doesn't seem that um, powerful to say the least, I guess. Beta Rastaban, Star Drawing, Nightmare. Unicorn. What an awesome reprint to get. What an awesome reprint in such a... This card is now available to everyone. Which is amazing. Because it was a... Almost, it was what, like a $15... It 
super or $15 ultra I want to say and upwards of $20 secret now what's this a buck or two that's great that's great everybody can play unicorn now especially anybody who's playing extra decks now you got the burner copies Ben 10 great card to be reprinted in here and Crowley the Magistus of Grimoires really cool Yeah, but they threw in here everything that Drytron needed. They got the they got the Herald of Ultimateness. Okay. And they got that Ben 10. Oh, there it is again, Ben 10. Grave of the Mark. And Phoenix. Phoenix also got reprinted in here, which is super nice. And our first Ultra, Zoroa, the Magistus of Flame. Alright, I'll have a value up on the screen for you guys. These prices, because it's so close to release date, they will fluctuate a lot. So be aware of that. Zorwa, the Magistus of Flame. Really cool stuff. First Ultra. I really want to pull the uh, Drytron Nova. I'll throw that up on the screen right now. That is a um, very uh, valuable Drytron card. Very valuable. I think it's a uh, $33 I've been seeing it sell at. $33 USD. Our drawing, Extra Foolish Burial, another Unicorn. Glad it's not short printed. And Varam, the Magistus Divinity Dragon. It's a cool looking card. Dope looking card. Next up, next up. What we got? Invoked Cockatus, Drytron Beta Rastaban, Star Drawing, Nightmare. <laughs> Unicorn. Already got a playset. Cyber Angel Ben 10. Extra Foolish Burial. Drytron Alpha Thuban. In my opinion, I think everybody should be picking up these packs right now. I think everybody should be picking up this set. I think there's just too much initial value to this set. Like, it's crazy. And the collector's rares, they, hopefully I can pull one for you guys today to show you. I do own a, a collector's rare Chaos Creator. So I might show you guys that at the end, just so you can see what a collector's rare looks like, like how it interacts in the light, because a picture online doesn't really do it justice. You know what I mean? So hopefully I can give you guys that sort of, oh, first uh, duplicate, Apollo. Love to see it. Yeah, like I, online, I, I looked at the collector's rare, I was like, well, I guess I'll get it because it's a collector's rare. In person, unmatched. The card is un matched folks and demian the magistus mastery born from draconis cyberus gadget evil tw what is that oh baby oh baby you i know you guys see that evil twin present try trying to oh man invoked oh Collector's Rare, baby. Let's go. Alistair, the Invoker of Madness. Collector's Rare. Oh, yeah. This is one of the really good ones, too. That's awesome. Wow. Look at that. Look at the way it moves. It's like a... It's like beyond Ultimate Rare. That's so nice. Oh, my God. Wow, Alistair, the Invoker of Madness. Collector's Rare. That's incredible, guys. Glad I was able to pull one to show you. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I can't see it once there. Put it up there. Yeah. Forget the supers. They ain't nothing. All right. Let's keep her going, guys. Let's keep her going. Next pack. Wow, I can't believe we pulled the collectors here already. That's amazing. Nightmare Phoenix, Bottomless Trap Hole, Drytron Eclipse, Herald of Ultimateness, Born from Draconis, Dark Mist, and another Chalice Slime. You know, I'm fine pulling Chalice Slimes all day because the incantation engine great engine especially for ritual summoning even though drytrons exist now there's other things you can do with incantations so it's fine by me 
Plus, it's an amazing looking card. Okay, we've got Perform Age Damage Juggler, Nightmare. Griffin, we've got a reprint in here as well. Magistus Invocation, Drytron Delta Altes, Nightmare Phoenix, Evil Twin Challenge, and Beat Cop from the Underworld. I believe this card in its collector's rare form is the cheapest collector's rare in the set, sitting at $30 USD was the last one I seen sell. So it's my recommendation that you buy as many collector's rare beat cops <laughs> as possible. Because there's no, that's just, it's guaranteed value. Guaranteed value. At 30 bucks US, it's stupid not to buy it. Live Twin Channel, Nightmare Griffin, Magistus Invocation, Backup Secretary, Evil Twin, GG Easy, Drytron, Asterism, Cyber Emergency, great super to pull. This is actually holding a little bit of value right now. I'll have it go up on the screen, but really great. I believe the Drytrons are running that card too, so it's added value, baby. Added value. Next up, by the way, can I just say, these are amazing looking packs. Here, let me grab, where's the other one? Here it is. These packs look really good. Really great looking packs. Probably best one since uh, Battles of Legend Armageddon, in my personal opinion anyways. Let me know down below, what's, what's, what's your favorite uh, pack art of the recent days? Drytron Eclipse, Herald of Ultimateness, Born from Draconis, Dark Mist, Live Twin Channel, Griffin, Live Twin Home. Jeez, we haven't seen too many of the other Live Twin cards. I wonder if they all got Ultra Rares, or if they're just short printed supers. Because outside of like what's Collector's Rare and a couple of the Ultras, I'm not too sure like what's coming in as what in this set. So we'll find it out with you guys. Delta Alteus. Nightmare Phoenix, Evil Twin Challenge, The Book of the Law, Drytron Assertitism, Invoked Cockatus, and Speak of the Devil. Here we have it. Evil Twins, Kiss a Kill, and Lilla. Look at that. Nice little ultra. Not too shabby. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. Another ultra. We'll take it. Let's keep her going. I don't know what the rates are for these boxes either. Is it four ultras? Or is it only two? I mean, I hope it's four. <laughs> I wouldn't mind another two. Magistus Invocation, Backup Secretary, Evil Twin, GG Easy, Drytron Assertitism, Magistus Thurgy, Sinite Regression, Live Twin, Kiss a Kill. Guys, I found all the idol cards. They're all in the left half. Okay. You know, not as ugly as I thought they would be. So, you know, it's not not my cup of tea. Not, not my uh, cup of tea, personally. I prefer looking at a Ojama Yellow's crotch. Next up. Dark Mist, Cyber Angel Ben 10, and Debian the Magistus of Mastery, Magistus Thurgy, Drytron Gamma L Tannin, Sinet Regression, and there's our Lilla. I guess we're just gonna get all of them now. Cool. Fine by me. Next pack. Yeah, if I can get enough for a Evil Twin deck core. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. Born from Draconis, Dark Mist, Twin Channel, Griffin, Magistus Invocation, Backup Secretary, and there's our playset of Ninaruru. Ninaruru. However it is to be pronounced. Alright. Next one, next one. We are burning through these packs, folks. You know, I don't want to sit here and drag on, read every single card. I want to show you guys what the rates are for a booster box. The collector's rares are, from what I've seen, they are very, very frequent. So don't let that turn you away from buying a box. Sign of Regression, Drytron Gamma L10, and Drytron Zeta L. And Artemis, the Magistus Moon Maiden. Okay, there's our third Ultra. Cool, this is the Link 1 for Magistus. I think Magistus is, is more like a equipping monsters from the extra deck to monsters, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's their shtick. Very cool. Just keep her going. Okay. 
next pack, we got Zeta Altiba, Backup Secretary, Extra Foolish Burial, Unicorn, Engraver of the Mark, Bottomless Trap Hole, and Arwas the Magistus Spell Spirit. There we go. We must have pulled all the Magistus cards by now. I don't think we're missing. There's no way we're missing any of them. <laughs> next up. What are we looking at here? Engraver of the Mark, Meteor Shower, Magistus Rita, Invoked Cockatus, Drytron Beta Rastaban, Star Drawing, and Drytron Medianus Quadrantes. Qu Quadrantids. Quadrantids. We'll go with that. Cool. I didn't know these guys were supers. Or is it one super and one's ultra? I don't know. Either way, I think they. I don't think any Drytron decks are playing them, but I think they are very cool looking cards. Very cool looking cards. Next up, oh, baby. What we got? What we got? Cyber's Gadget, Magistus Vritra, The Book of the Law, Invoked Magellanica, Perform Age Hat Tricker, Evil Twin Challenge, and Live Twin Kissy Kill. Okay, cool. I want you guys to let me know down below what is your favorite archetype from this set? I know I've been seeing tons of hype for the Jaichons because I do believe they just won and then they just taught, like came in top eight in another event. I, th I think Cody Angelov actually played them and won with them, if I'm not mistaken. And for those of you guys who don't know, Cody Angelov is like one of the best duelists ever lived. And he just, you know, he was killing it with that deck. So I think that, you know, it's a very promising deck, if you ask me. And you know, expect uh, expect big things from it. I think it could be uh, like, or maybe it's just you know people don't know how to play around it yet. But I think it could be a real uh, devastator. Unicorn, Ben Ten, Foolish Burial, and Demian, born from Draconis, Cyber's Gadget, Incantation, Chalice Slime. There's our playset. I'm happy, happy. Got all the Chalice Slimes. Last two packs, Drytron and Magistus. Let's open the Magistus one first. What do we got? Jeez, they keep wanting to do this thing when I open them, where like the back splits. Oh man. Hope there's not a second collector's rare at this back. Just fucking opened it like an idiot. Evil Twin Present, Drytron Eclipse, Invoke Magellanica, Perform Age Damage Juggler, Nightmare Griffin, Magistus Invocation, and there's <laughs> our damaged Live Twin Lilla. Oh man. It's not so bad. It's, <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> Final pack, baby. Let's crack it open and see what we get. Really hoping we get one more ultra. That'd be really nice. Evil Twin Present, Perform Age Damage Juggler, World Lance, Drytron Zeta Altace, Nightmare Phoenix, Bottomless Trap Hole, Valram the Magistus Divinity Dragon. All right, so that's the whole box. I'll clean it up and I'll show you the rates. All right, I am back. I've sprawled out the packs and I'm ready to show you. So <clears throat> from the stack of rares from the packs, I did pull out some of the rares that I thought were outstanding, like, you know, notable mentions that I want to show you guys. So for the Ben 10s, we got five Ben 10s, which I think is pretty good. I think it's pretty good. You open up this, you get... You don't have to go out and buy your other copies of it. You're going to get them all here if you're trying to build your Drytron deck, which I think is really, really good. Next up, I got one, two, three, four, five Phoenixes. Again, really good because this is a penny stock card if I ever see one. This right here, this is stonks. These nightmares, these are good pickups. These are good pickups. So I'd for sure say at least buy some packs, pull some nightmares for yourself. Either use them in your deck or just hold on to them because these are going to go up. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Hands down. At least going to be worth a buck. Remember guys, it's all about the penny stonks. Then we got for unicorns, two, three, four, five. Five unicorns. Nothing wrong with that, folks. If I do say so myself, pull in five nightmare unicorns. I'll do that. I'll take that any day of the week. 
Now moving on to the hollows. We got a play set of Chalice Slime, a play set of Ninaruru. We got two Varam, two Live Twin Kissakill, two Live Twin Lilla. And then for the one ofs, one Live Twin Home, one Trismegistus, one Cyber Emergency, one Crowley, one Alpha Thuban, one Arwas, the Magistus Spell Spirit, one Beat Cop, and one Drytron Medionis. And then for the Ultras, we pulled the Evil Twins Kissakill and Lilla, Artemis, the Magistus Moon Maiden, and Zorua, the Magistus of Flame. And finally, we did pull a Collector's Rare, and I'm gonna go out and I'm I'm gonna go out and say it's probably gonna be about a 50-50 shot of your booster box having a collector's rare in it. From what I've seen anyway. I've just seen like you know the it's not uncommon to be pulling lots of these. So I want to say it's probably about a 30 to 50% shot of you getting a collector's rare. And like I said, I'll have the whole list, I'll show it again here, the whole list of all the collector's rares in the set, so then you can see where the money is and where it isn't. I'll have a price included with them as well. Remember that price, that price is subject to fluctuate because it, this is pretty much release day. Love you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. This was a fun opening. Really, oh, that sounds so corny, but you know what I mean. This is a, had a lot of fun opening these with you guys. Pulled some great stuff, pulled the collector's rare, so I can't complain. Hopefully, with your openings, you guys have the same kind of luck. Bless, may I bless your packs? Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Deuces.